example, we have here a simple offset 45 degree elbow. So our elbow will be only 45 degree. The two elbow will be 45 degree. So I have here uh, a given. The first elevation is 6,000 and the down elevation is 5,000. So this, this is the set and this is the run. Now we're going to find what is the measurement of the travel. So we're going to compute it by Pythagorean theorem. And we're going to convert the measurement, the formula. So travel equals to square root of 1000 squared plus 1000 squared. And the answer will be square root of 2 million. And get the square root of 2 million. And this will be 1414.21. So the travel measurement is 1414.21. So since we have a nominal nominal pipe size 4 inches diameter of pipe. So from uh, this example we are going to get the take off of 45 degree elbow based on the diameter. So 15.875 is our constant for a 45 degree elbow so 15.875 multiplied by 4 is equal to 63.5 this will be the take up of 4 inches diameter pipe of elbow so we are going to multiply it into 2 because we have a, since we have a 2 elbow, 63.5 times 2 equal to 127. Now, uh, from the travel measurement, we are going to minus 127. point twenty one. Minus 127. It was 1287.21. So our spool will be 1287.21. So the cut length from this joint to this joint. For our next topic, so I have here a rolling offset. So a rolling offset refers to a directional change both vertically and horizontally. A pipe can make in a piping system. In a rolling offset, roll refers to the horizontal. So this is the roll. And the offset refers to rise. So this is the reason why it is called the rolling offset you have to imagine that if uh, this pipe is going to put the inside the imaginary box it changed it changed the direction horizontally and vertically but in perpendicular so as an example I have here uh, the roll measuring uh, 1500 and the set measuring uh, 1000 and we have to find the run the travel and the spool so in a standard formula the value of a is equals to square root of roll squared plus set squared and for the run the standard formula is the value of A multiplied by 1. So for the travel formula, travel equals to value of A multiplied by 1.414. So 1.414 is a constant meaning this is a given because the cotangent of 45 degree is 1.414
And based on the illustration, we have a 45 degree elbow. So this is only 45 degree elbow. We have two pieces. <clears throat> and the nominal pipe size is 18 inches diameter. Okay, for the value of A, so as shown in the formula, square root of 1,500 squared plus 1,000 squared is equals to square root of 3,250,000. And when you get the square root, the answer is 1,802.77. So this will be the value of our A. And for the run, since this is a 45 degree, we have a 45 degree elbow. Run equals to value of A multiplied by 1. So the answer is 1802.77. So it was the same. And for the travel, value of A multiplied by 1.414. So 1.414. 1,802.77 multiplied by 1.414 and the answer is 2,549.11 so this is our travel from the center to center of the fittings now we already had the answer for the value of A run and the travel and now we are go going to get the value of spool. What is the measurement of spool? So, we have to get the take of, of 45 degree elbow. And we have the 8 inches nominal pipe size. So, to get the take of, the take of, uh, the take of formula is diameter multiplied by 0.625. So, I convert the 0.625 to millimeter to get the direct uh, measurement, to get the direct, direct take of, of elbow in millimeter. So, 8 multiplied by 15.875 is equals to 127. This is the take of of one elbow. So, we have two pieces. I'm going to multi multiply it into 2 and the sum of measurement is 254 for 2 elbow. Now we have the value of the 2 elbow to get the spool length. So the measurement of our travel is 2549.11. We have to minus the take off of, take off of the two elbow. So 249.11 minus 254, the answer is 2295.11 minus 6 milli. So the 6 milli comes from the welding gap. So per one joint, we have a 3 milli welding gap. And for the other joint is 3 milli. That's why uh, I minus 6, 6 milli. So after, um, after we list the gap, the answer is 2289.11. So this will be the cut length of a spool. So meaning a uh, spool, this from uh, joint to joint, joint to joint cut length. This is our topic for the rolling offset and simple offset. I hope you learn and understand. And I thank you guys for watching. Thank you very much.